Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we will understand that how to split the data in decision tree analysis. Decision trees are a non-parametric supervised learning method used for classification and regression. The goal is to create a model that predicts the value of a target variable by learning simple decision rules inferred from the data features. How we can do this analysis? Let's try to see. I'll simply drag and drop the data set fruits and vegetables here. I'll connect the spline with the result window. Press the play button and you can see here the variables which are there. The target variable is a classification. That is fruit or vegetable. The independent variables are vitamin, vitamin C, calcium, iron, magnesium, calories, potential, protein, potassium, protein, fiber. Now I want to find out that what is the criteria on the basis of which the classification is done of fruit and vegetable. So I'll again go in design. I'll select the attributes. Drag it and drop it here. Subset it. Select the attributes. I'm considering all of them. Or rather, name will not be considered. Click apply. Then I'll go in the set row because I need to specify which is my dependent variable. So the classification is my dependent variable and make sure to label it. Then I'll go in split data. Double click on it. The training data set is 70%. Testing data set is 30%. Apply. Now I will activate the decision. Disconnect this line. Apply the model. The training data set will go in the decision tree and the testing data set will go into the unlabeled. Connect this from model to model. Now we want to evaluate the performance of this algorithm. So for this, I'll go in performance. Make sure you activate the performance of the classification because it is a classification algorithm. Drop it here. Connect label with label. Performance with the result window and model with the result. Press the play button and you can see here the result is red. So the basic question is, is calorie greater than 36.5? or less than 36.5. If the calorie is less than 36.5, it is very clear that it is a vegetable. If it is more than 36.5, you will have to go in the next question, potential. Is potential greater than 308 or less than? If it is less than, then it is a fruit. So this gives me a classification or tree or a decision tree. You can change the trees from here Now you will go in the performance vector and you will try to find out how accurate the classification is. Now four, these are four fruits and the algorithm also predicted they are correctly classified. Two vegetables and algorithm also predicted that they are vegetables based on the attributes which are given. But the misclassification happened here and here. There is a misclassification here. To get more results, you can connect example to the result window. There's the play button. And you can see here, this is a classification which has been done. This is a prediction which has been done and it gives us a confidence also. Now here, the algorithm has worked very well. The classification is fruit and the prediction is also correct. Two, three, four, five. I'm 
correctly classified cases. Here, the misclassification has been done. Here, the misclassification is done. These two are correctly classified. So this is a way the decision tree runs. You can go here in description to, uh, to see the rules of the classification, which are there. Again, you can go in result history to get the summary of this. Now, if you want to change the criteria of the decision tree, the hyperparameter tuning can also be done from here. So here, now I'll be changing this to gain index. I'm changing the criteria for the decision tree. And then I'll run. So I'll get a different set of rules. So by this way, you can tune the hyperparameter. For more videos on decision tree, kindly subscribe to my channel. For more videos on rapid minor, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can see my playlist, which I have already uploaded many videos of rapid minor. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please don't forget to press the like button.